Okay guys, so we are carrying on with chapter 9 and we're only sector 6 slums and this is the Collapse Expressway. That's all. Why did that tap? It's still basically a little seahorse there. Take that guy down. And we have a lesser break. I don't remember since the last time I played how <laughs> to play. This is actually very well. <laughs> Strange, trying to go in from different controllers and that as well. Okay. So let's set that guy down. You can switch a little bit with the air up as well. Okay, so now. Someone's pulled up the ladder. Can't get to the ladder. We I wonder if we can this. use this. No. Cloud. Here's okay, an so idea. I don't have to rotate I'll if that's hop side. on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Ah, through right. Cloud, it's also awkward. If like he's in pain when you have to do physical Stop. contact or something like that, oh, what the? Okay. It's time for him to go back to sleep. Yeah. Here we go. Ah, ah, ah. Focus first. I don't think of what our abilities are. Oh. I keep my so so it's your turn. And that's that. Get out of here. There we go. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. No, it's not. Fire is warm. Well, it's embers. Warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? You don't get it, Eric. It means somebody was here. I need to get back. Besides, looky here, boys. Caught us some burglars. Remember burglars? Stealing our shit, doing crimes. <laughs> doing crimes. <laughs> 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 Complimentary, you know. I don't get it. How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> Compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. <laughs> we haven't done anything Come on. wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due, due recompense. Due recompense, oh, you know. Due recompense, it's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, 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 compensatory damages. Uh, so damages recompense, I guess. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. I think we have. <laughs> Alright, so since Eric gets bad. Ah, did he just like put you to sleep with him? I'm doing the social storm over here. Come on, Dad, get up. Let down. Okay, guys, whatever you do, don't move. Don't look. 
Damn me, please. Ugh. Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Who are you guys? Don't leave me! I'm coming! <laughs> Alright. High five time? Pretty well. Sure did. Uh, <laughs> he tried it. <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. <laughs> nope. No, I did not. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. That. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Okay. The same page. Hold it right Enemies, there. Get him. <laughs> you want to pass a yard? <sighs> Then you oh, why are you all the way over there? Okay, yeah, so you used to go over there to use it. So for Storm to take everybody out if it didn't go into electric, and it's done. Did you just you take my money, bro? I swear to God, when it. Are you trying to run off? Yo! I just run off my money. Nah. Nah. I'm not happy. I oh, took my money and ran. Come on, Cloud, go with me, sir. There we go. Cloud, up top. Make no room for error there. Uh, lift the hand. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> All right. Win this evergreen right, part. There it is, the gate to sector seven. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No, I don't have time. Up for... there looks nice. I don't have time for your childish games. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh yeah? <sighs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? Hmm. As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? You probably know him. Hmm. Are you okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. I don't think Cloud quite Sorry. got the hint there. I'm yeah. Up. We should go. Talking about your eyes, silly. Not everybody else's eyes. Gotta look forward, not back. Gotta look forward, not back. Words to live by. Yeah! Tifa? And apparently this is um, what t dress Tifa wears. Cloud, is what alive. choice? I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? What dialogue option you pick? I think when I'll you're near the start and you talk to Tifa. 
but now I'm on my way to talk about now. dressing up and going on the you town and see that sporty, mature outfit. But I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick. <laughs> I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl in here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. <laughs> huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... In great shape, great fire. She's a great hand in the books, you know. Uh, great fighter, I suppose. Um, she's a great fighter. I'm not sure that helps. Wait a minute, you're talking about Tifa? Yeah, it does help her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees a light of day again. Sees a light of day. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as what a candidate. Auction, then, but audition. An audition for yeah. what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. Selling a rock. She's what he likes all rolled <laughs> into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. Trying to take out my own lamp there. those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? What are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Why not? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. No, we gotta find this Corneo guy. Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Let's go. Get out of the way. No need to mind. God. And Walmart kit. Welcome to Walmart, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. <laughs> got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Pretty, pretty orient, oriental going on. And theme. Pretty expensive too. My guy, get out of my way. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart. Kid. No, actually, I've been yeah. here before. So, so people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me then? Can I go inside? Maybe, but you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kind of cute, homely but cute. Excuse you? <laughs> She's the cute face as well. Ready. Homely on, but cute. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into, Aerith? Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud. Requesting permission to go. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're going to need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. Interested in that guy? And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. 
They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith. You sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. <laughs> Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. <laughs> this guy. Man. But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> <clears throat> not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? No. Definitely not. Mm. Seem pretty scared. <laughs> what happened there? Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don Cook. Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Damn. Oh. Uh, but yeah, man, she does it in business. Uh, this is the last thing I need. You're wasting You're time. You're stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off wow. easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and, and shot, shot for yeah. wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course okay, will so it be? Okay, so that 367,000, so we could go the poor man's course. <laughs> Let's go the luxury course, man. <laughs> Then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? That air sound concerned. <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well to do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the oh, God. <laughs> Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about I really this? went there, though. <laughs> <laughs> The developers really went there. <laughs> That's why this game is a 16. <laughs> if that was to your liking, 
do come again. Right. <laughs> How was it? I also, I also have the poor man's close up as this uh, individual video. If anybody wants to see how that turns okay? out. <laughs> yeah. You're actually <laughs> looks weird, like, Cloud. Yeah, man. Yeah. Feeling good. Really weird. Hmm. Hmm? Think you'll make a habit of it? Sure. <laughs> Oops, on behind the counter. That's not good. Thank All you. Right, then. I think I've seen everything. Yeah, man, if you, if you go in from the side and you come so, back out, man, you feel like. Tell me what you want, and we'll take feel it. limber, man. You feel smooth, you feel great. It's like, yo, know, I'm so relaxed. I just want to chill out. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm. Okay. Really? But. You cannot go dressed like that. Seems in a lot uh, better mood anyway. I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It looks comfortable. It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. <laughs> Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million That depends girls. on how many side quests so the days are deserved. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh, nah, I'll have that There's an underground quarter of a million up for a fight not quite a million gil good because i'm getting you into that arena if you win the tournament i'll transform Aerith into a drop dead gorgeous beauty there any prize money <laughs> yes for the person who got you in so what do you say all right that's what i like to hear you'll need this mm, so this is part Don't of the main question i can't even like decline you should hurry Run right, what do you say? I say no. I say I go into the tournament. <laughs> I take the money. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? A team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. <laughs> All right. I, I love some of the animations on Cloud's face, man. I can't wait for Final Fantasy Remake Part 2. Just because I, I haven't played the original Final Fantasy 7, so I don't know the story to it. I know, like, certain parts because of, like, memes and things down, like that. Down, down uh, what happens with Aerith later on. Um, something to do with, like, so um, Materia. Go, things like that. That I won't go into. I but, man, I just to see their you. interactions. Um, that I suppose you couldn't really get in the original Final Fantasy VII. Nope. And just been able to see the reactions really? on You're the characters' faces and just trying to focus. Just the things that they talk about. Going into hard mode and things like that. I've been able to see the game again and see their interactions and hear people's theories and how they interacted with the first Final Fantasy VII and what certain things they say might kind of allude to. Luckily, it makes it better going through the game the second time. You've been able to upload this. When you guys see it, maybe for the first or second time as well. How it might come across with the characters' interaction to you guys as well, so. Two of them are blood. Blood. <laughs> the 
Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes! And tonight, Corneo Wow, oh, this place is really something. Alright, and we will save that underground Coliseum until next time. Catch you guys later.